Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I want to use the trinket tray mold and it's the M size. And as you can maybe see, I already poured um, clear resin into the rim. So I just did it before I started the video because I wanted to be rather accurate. And now I'm starting with my white and I'm I used for the white my um, resin tint max titanium white and I put a little bit of the blue Aura from Petra Jungblut in there. Resin I'm using here is the Ultracast resin. It's from Etta Art and also the pigment paste is from Etta Art. So now I'm continuing pouring my white at the edge um, and on top of this rim because I want a little bit that the white drops down. So it's maybe not a block color, but a slightly crackle effect. And that's what I want to achieve with the um, clear resin around the rim. Um, I'm not always a fan like pouring around the rim a glitter mix. So that's why I did this. And now my second color is the Enzian. It's a resin ink from Octopus. And I mix this into a little cup. I don't put too much of it in there. Um, the Octopus resin inks you can purchase in the US um, at Laura's Art Corner. Just check it out. I also have the discount code of PT10. So just check Laura for the Octopus inks in the US. If you are in, in Europe, you can easily directly purchase from Octopus. I also have the discount code for Euro uh, for Europe in, in my description box. Just check it out. So this I'm going to mix and then I'm pouring my blue mix, the Encian, just around the white. You will see it in a second. There you go. And I'm really hoping for some wonderful blendings between the white and the blue. So I have a frosty winter inspired pour. I now take my clear resin and I'm filling up my mold. I would say just slightly underneath the top rim. So I still have a little bit of space because I want to pour a flower design. And I can tell you, I let my resin sit for a while, around about half an hour, 40 minutes, till I felt it was getting warmer and thicker. And then I started pouring. The Ultracast resin has a long working time. I think it's around about um, 80 minutes um, till 90 minutes, something around about this figure. So. That's why I could, um, why I know I can still work with this and it's amazing, you know, how long you can work with the resin and still achieve wonderful effects. So now I'm taking my white mix again. I just pour around the rim so I have enough white that will drag towards the center to create the web effect. And then I'm just starting pouring my flower. So I'm using the Encian again. So I now I'm going with exactly the same colors, but somehow I love this, you know, that there's not so much contrast because I think sometimes it matches. It just, you know, melts all together. So it's really one, um, one design, but it's also all a matter of preferences, what you prefer to, to have and, Yes. So this is now the Encian dropped in. I let it spread for a little bit and then I can start pouring out of my cup my white resin. And the white is only the titanium white resin tint max or resin tint max titanium white. <laughs> it's the other way round. And um, there you see that I'm just pouring a spiral and I'm just going a little bit in an oval shape because this mold is oval. So I'm hoping that 
the flower will spread also a little bit. And of course, I'm hoping that um, yeah, the web effect will come in. And I'm quite excited about it because this mold, um, I think it can take round about um, 300, round about 300 grams of resin. So it's not a little bit of resin. And when it's not working, it's always just like wasting. So I'm, I'm very curious and I'm hoping it will turn out nicely. So he, also here I waited just a tiny bit before drawing my design and now I'm just doing it. Going with the four petals from the outside in. Then I'm drawing in between in the four petals. So I have eight petals in total. And you see I'm taking my time and even though I, I already made the video a little bit faster and then I was thinking shall I um, do something, shall I do a swirl in the center, can I do something else and then I decided to go with my dotting tool from the inside out just to have a little bit more design of the flower. But also this is all how you prefer to do it, your preferences. This is what I'm doing. Just feel free to do it however you want to do it if you want to try this technique. So I thought um, in pouring it this way, it gives really a nice like, like a winter flower and I could imagine with the web effect that it will have a nice design. So this is now my center, the center swirl. And this is a little bit of the time lapse. So you can see how the resin is moving. I also had a little bit with the heat gun, but always very gently, not too hard, because I don't want to ruin my design. So, and this is now the next day time for demolding and I'm very curious. You can see that the design, the web effect really closed and you could see that, that the resin ink from the flower shrinked. It's, it's always amazing watching, but let's have a look and look at this. Doesn't it look like winter frosty, um, yeah, inspired theme I, I really like it it's like winter wipes and i like the design of the two colors just the blue and the white and you have the crackle effect or i have the crackle effect at the sides you see it here in my little reveal from from my end product and with this i love and leave you i wonder what you think about it if you like this pour and yeah, see you hopefully for my next video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.